What's up, drummers? Derek Roddy here. So earlier today, I made a reply on a group to a guy that was asking about drum sound. And he was having an issue with getting his toms to sound the way he wanted them to sound. Um, and he was talking about experimenting with tuning, experimenting with different types of heads. Should I buy different drums, higher quality drums, electric drums? And it's funny to me that this is always the case that most of us as players don't look at ourselves as the main source of sound. Like we automatically think that changing a t like a type of head or a type of drum or different kind of material that a snare drum is made out of or whatever actually makes a difference. It doesn't. What makes the biggest difference is your grip, okay? And you as a player. And there's a million ways to hit a drum, okay? I'm gonna give you two, right? All right, here's, here's two different ways to hit a drum. There's one way. There's another way. Did I change drum heads? Did I switch from birch to maple? Did I go out and spend $5,000 to have a drum sound better, it changed my grip. So why would you want to change your grip? Okay, well, if you're playing a blast beat, for example, and you go into a tom fill, if you approach that tom fill really open, it's going to get lost, right? You're not going to get any bite. As opposed to Sorry about the hi-hats. Let's listen to it again. Hear the difference, right? Same thing with the snare. As opposed to I'm not hitting a rim shot, choking the stick, which is in a sense choking the drum, giving it a shorter sustain, right? You hear the difference. So think about grip, way more important than all this other stuff you're wasting time with. Cheers.